guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be doing a full face using elf cosmetics i went out to target and i'm so bored during this whole quarantine okay um that i kind of bought one of like some of their like hot items right now some of their new items um the foundation definitely is a must out of this whole video if you don't like anything else at least go try their foundation it is amazing i feel like this is definitely it um, just by it sitting on my face for a little bit now that I recorded and everything it hasn't creased or anything And I really like it. It is small too. The only thing I don't like is that when you go to the store You don't really have testers there to try out. Um, and right now they're not doing returns So take your time when looking for the foundation um, But overall, this is a really subtle look. I just use this little mini eyeshadow palette too like the, Like this is so small. It's like such a good look for on the go when you're rushed, when you got Zay, when you're going to work. But yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. <laughs> my brow on camera and the other off. So I'll be using the e.l.f. Instant brow Lift Brow Pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. And that's my first time using this too as well. I'm going to do this eye brow. I feel like this is my better looking eyebrow than the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and comb all my hairs back. Then I usually start on my tail first. So I feel like I'm done doing this brow, I just have to conceal it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other brow off camera. But overall, I feel like the brow pencil applied really smoothly. Um, I did have to apply a little bit of pressure. I don't really like how thick um, the tip is. But overall, it was a really good eyebrow product. If you want more of like a natural my eyebrows off camera, and I concealed my eyelids so I can start off with eyeshadow. This is the e.l.f. mini eyeshadow um, trios. This is the bite size eyeshadow in rose water. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead with this like little light pink shade in the middle right here. And I'm gonna do on a Morphe M518 brush. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply this color um, in our crease. Once that's in a crease, it's like a nice mauve, like pinky shade. I'm gonna go ahead and add this dark plum shade right here onto our lid. So we're gonna apply the color on the side right here. Kind of packing it in on the lid. Just like so, so it ends up being like a nice, like smoky purple. So, once it's all blended on both eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and add eyelashes 
Now, the only eyelashes that Elf has are very, like, natural ones. Um, so these are the medium volume and fullness with, like, winged flare. Um, these were at my local Target. I don't know if they have them that differently at Ulta. But let's show up in these. And it comes with the eyelashes. It also comes with a little tool to take out the eyelashes. The glue I'll be using is the Duo Glue. I used to hate this glue because it smells like eggs, but that's all I got right now. So we're gonna use this glue. Now we're gonna move on to foundation. I'm so excited for this foundation. It's oil-free, medium coverage. I've been wanting to try it. It's a flawless setting foundation. So I got the shade 220 Beige. Now the shade was a little off. So let's see how it fits me. It's either gonna be too light or I'm gonna look too pink. One or the other. Okay, so it does come with a pump already. So I'm just gonna take it on my Real Techniques um, blending brush. We're just gonna pump it. Okay, I'm just gonna take two pumps for now. And we're gonna see. It's not that bad. Maybe it'll oxidize. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it is kind of light. Okay, so that's how the foundation looks. This is 220 on me. I have a lot of yellow and um, pink in my undertone. And this is how it looks. So first applying it, it is kind of thick. I mean, you can really f like feel that it's full coverage. So I'm just gonna do one pump on my forehead and right over here, places I didn't get yet. So I can always Make it look darker with my bronzer, obviously, but they should have testers at Target. Now we're gonna go with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is a set and finish also. And I got the shade Light Beige, and it's very thick. And I love the application because I feel like you get more out of it. It's like the Tarte um, Shape Tape. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this. I usually put my concealer out. And then we're gonna use a Beauty Blender for this one. Look, also the concealer got the wrong shape. I didn't buy their um, translucent powder because I didn't like how it said that it's like luminous. I don't need that. I need math, girl. So I just used my Too Faced powder. I'm gonna go ahead and dust it off. And bronze using their uh, bronzer palettes. I never tried this one before. Let's see. Oh, my nails. So 
I'm gonna open this one up. I'm excited to try this. Okay. And let's see this how it comes. If I can open it. It comes with a mirror. And this is how the bronzers look. I'm gonna go with these two shades in the corner right here. Just to see how that works. use the elf blush i think this is the shade blushing this is how it looks right here and then we're going to just use the same brush grab a little bit of that hmm. all right so i grabbed this color because it's kind of like similar to my milani blush but I can't really see it. Cause it was like a cute kind of like corally bro. Blush. Look. So I can kinda see it. It's pretty cute. Gives you like this little subtle glow because it does have like a little bit of reflectance in it. But like that, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Metallic Flare Highlighter. This is what it looks like. And this is in the shade White Gold. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Fan Brush for it too. See if it picks it up. So it didn't really pick up that much product but it is nice for like a subtle kind of glow and you can see it on my nose yeah it does give you a nice like subtle glow see when i swatch it it doesn't really come up like that much so it's very like a natural natural glow for some reason i don't know if elf has lip liners or not but I couldn't find them at my Target. So I'm just gonna use this Ulta Beauty Automatic Lip Liner in Spice. This is my favorite lip liner ever. If I can only use one lip liner, it'll be this one. So I'm just gonna take that and line my lips. Okay, once I line my lips, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Paraline. So I'm going to take that and just put it in the middle. Next to so now I'm just gonna spray my face with the elf makeup mist and set. I wanted the matte one, but they ran out of the matte one. Whatever. It was harsh. Thank you guys for watching this video. I just want to say really quickly that this elf foundation is it. Um well, since I got the wrong shade, I'd probably go back and buy my actual shade just because it did cover up some of my like acne marks that I do have on my face uh cover up everything it didn't even increase no it didn't even increase yet at all um so I'm really liking the foundation and the concealer together is definitely a good combo and this is kind of like a dupe for the tart tape shape concealer that one's like $24 this one was like $6 so everything on my table was less than $10 um, even the foundation was like 6 or $8, I believe. So definitely 
e.l.f. is it if you're looking to do like bridal makeup or you're just starting off to do makeup don't buy expensive stuff and this is what i started off with um i started off with e.l.f.'s like old stuff and i kind of made my way up the charts um so if you're definitely kind of like wanting to start off with makeup or you want to start off doing people's makeup i would definitely start off with e.l.f. first and i'll list everything down below that i used don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i'll also leave um my instagram down below so i switched my makeup instagram to my personal instagram so now it's just all together um so yeah don't forget to follow me on there and i'll see you guys in my next one bye